Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes Exeek here again and today I'm going to give you a little video review of Orcs Must Die, a Steam game that is currently on sale for 375. This game is um, a bit of sort of cartoony in style, almost like WoW, and is a tower de first person tower defense game. Now I'm not sure about you, but I really do enjoy... Sorry about that. As you can tell, this game goes for a bit of a sense of humor. And at the beginning of each map, you have to choose all your spells. You unlock new spells as you go on through the game. And you just kind of set up your traps and then defend using your bow and arrow, or sword. But I find the blade staff doesn't do much damage. It doesn't work out too well. Sorry about the frame rate issues. I'm currently um, at my mother's house, so I'm not using my computer, which is causing me no end of trouble here. But, as you can tell, you set the traps, and I'll set one more spike trap. And all the traps have different effects, different fire speeds, and you can upgrade them all separately. So you press Q, G to unleash the horde here, and here it comes. So basic gameplay, it's like a tower defense game, but you can't depend only on your towers to defend your base. You have to also attack on your own. Depending only on your tower will get you killed almost immediately. Again, I'm going to apologize for the flame rate, frame rates. I'm not really going to play this game, but just tell you what I think about it and if it's any good, if it's worth purchasing. So other than the cartoony art style, you can see here on screen, use the hotkeys 1 to 5 to select your weapon slash trap. You gain money for each kill. And I'm having a really hard time with the frame rate here. you have your health and mana in the background. If you right click, you use your weapon's special attack, which for the bow and arrow stuns. With the sword, or the blade staff as they call it, you slash. And um, with other things, you do other things. I haven't really gotten that far yet, so I'll tell you when I get there. Oh god, frame rate. Anyways. As you can tell, you can also zoom and get headshots if I were to actually select my right weapon and hit the middle button. So anyways, you might think, you might be asking, what do I think of this game? And I like it. It is a bit silly at times, and I don't always appreciate the sense of humor, but I've always been a huge fan of the tower defense genre. So I think for $3.75, it is definitely worth getting, or even for $5 or any time it comes up on Steam, it's probably worth picking up. Anyways, this was Yesik Zeke here, and I'll see you guys next time.